Hello everybody, I'm going to concentrate to play this game, so I'm going to take out my headphones and leave you with Fimea and Dimmy G, they can do all the commentary, um, this is the round of 32, this could be my final game in the competition, so um, yeah, take it away guys, thank you very much. Hello everybody, here we are, second game, could be the last game for one of these two coaches, whoever wins, if someone wins tonight, they qualify to the runner 16 and the other one has to go home. Which is probably not very far because both of them are playing from home. <laughs> and with me is Dimi G. Hello everybody. What a high stakes game we have here for you. It could be the it could be the last game in the competition for either one of these coaches. It might be the penultimate game of the competition for either one of these coaches. Yes, and this game being so important and with so many people in Darlington following the Darlington top star, Jimmy Fantastic, this game is dedicated to one of the Gregs in Darlington. And the Gregs is a big sponsor of the Blood Bowl community. Even if you don't know, they don't know, but they are. And the Gregs that is the, in Darlington, this game is dedicated is to the one in 19 High Row that opened six... Half past six uh, tomorrow morning, and right now it's closed. But well, if you are ever in Darlington and then you are past Nighting High Row, you will enjoy a magnificent Greg's uh, there. 4.4 star in oh, uh, oh. Google. That's pretty amazing. I, I, That's like the... pretty amazing for uh, Darlington. I wonder if they have bouncers in there, Greg's, because I've noticed the further north you get, the more they have bouncers in their Gregs. Here I know in Edinburgh there are bouncers in a McDonald's or some places like that at night. Yeah, yeah, we get we get uh, McDonald's bouncers down south, but we we haven't quite got to Gregs bouncers down south yet. Wait, 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 wait. No, I won't. It is a you don't know yeah. what is the Until Gregs. I'm victorious. Come, just Google it. And I will defend. Yeah, Gregs is a fight. I will defend. Thanks a lot, Jake, and I style for your subscription. 54 months. Jesus Christ. 54? That's a lot of badges. That's a... Uh, 13. Beaver pregnancies. So Jimmy's actually lost the toss by the looks of this because uh, Gorgor Bay is on the offense. So we're getting... We're getting the opposite end of uh, the result from the first game. So it will be interesting to see uh, if this game shapes any different. Stab fails. Oh, no, no good. I would I would have rolled the against the full pow. Help, are you going to do the gamba thing? Gamba. That's what people call the, the betting. Dab skulls! Oh my god! And he has to use the roll. Oh, but Google. He was trying to hit Dimmy G, but Dimmy G managed to stall a re-roll from uh, Gorgor Bay. Absolute best lino on the LOS. Confirmed. The only one is standing. But yeah, Google. Wait, does there have is there is a beer trap in the pitch. Yes, there is. There is the uh... trap door. <laughs> wow. Ah. I think they're just for the half, but I got a feeling they might stay there for the rest of the game. I think they stay. Yeah. I did suck one off Odon. I sucked off a reroll. So Jim gets a free hit here. He is on a bludger. Oh no, he hasn't blitzed yet, has he? Oh, he's not blitzing. He didn't blitz. Did I wow, miss the blitz? Wow, 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 wow. I missed the blitz. Did he blitz? I don't think he blitzed. No, he didn't. Wow. Pressure. Three hit in a blogger. That, uh, but I think the blitz is probably going to be in one of those uh, killless liners. Yeah, he's going he's gonna to blitz the rookie. Sure. But having a free hit on a oh, no, no, you know, it looks like he's there. You go, there. You go, setting up, setting up I, for it. 
I don't think he's gonna blitz the blitz up because his lino is based on it. He's gonna one in nine now. Oh, is the power wow. no armor break, no pal, but no turnover, no no reroll. And uh, Jimmy goes another turn of this World Championships without making a casualty. Another turn without a cash. Gorora running Thumbbell as the equity shift has been absolutely nuclear. There are uh, meltdowns in, uh, in the power plants, nuclear power plants uh, all over the world. Oh, Jim's... Uh... The Greg in Darlington's are opening tonight, all night, just in a celebration of uh, Jimmy Stern. Oh, he thought about that dodge long and hard and decided not to make it. He felt a one coming. So there I am, lying on the grass. At least you're not dead. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's better than usual. Yeah? Improving, leveling up as the competition goes on. Elliot again on the bench. Lazy bastard. There you go, get another advantage. Elliot uh, now enjoying the nightlife as a college man in Leeds. Gogo having a long, hard think. Oh, that's. Now, good. this is good because there is no uh, exposed uh, linos for easy hits, for easy blitzes, so. He needs to be careful here. Oh, I see. So he's going to blitz the blitzer. <clears throat> by the looks of it. There you go. Waste is no time. Nothing. See, if he hit... if he, I guess there's no exposed skillless ones. Barring that one there that he could only get 1D on. But yeah, if he hit a rookie, he would have got a pal there. But obviously, he can, the, the way Jim's positioned is the, the rookie. Yeah, team. and Jimmy is going to have much more options to hit the skillless players, basically because uh, Gorgor Bay needs to keep the the cage. <laughs> yeah, the tempo the tempo of this game is very much like the game we saw last night. It's, uh... Yeah, yeah. I hope uh, people use that game to fall asleep. Uses two minute clock. Yeah, it's always good to have a little think about it. He's oh, free. the He's shadowing. Free. That's a good shout. Yeah, there was shadowing on the assassin. And then obviously if he makes the shadowing, then he's in base contact and then he can stab something. That's a very good point, actually. Yeah, but then he could also hit the assassin. The assassin doesn't have a block and it's armor seven. There is that, but then the assassin could have stabbed one and then he could have blitzed the other one. So ah, he, yeah, right, right, yeah, true, yeah. true, true, true. But he would have had to roll like a nine, right, so. Here we go. Punching a rookie. Gets the pal. Again, he does not No armor die. break, but now that gives him a two dice on the... the... Bludger. Bludger, which no result. Man, this is this is like a wet noodle fight. Oh, now he dodges. Here I go, oh, lad. Shadowing. Oh, here comes purple chest. He soon. Or not? He he's, he's here, but muted. Is the setting up or is the equipment? No, just adverts came up on Jimmy's channel and I don't like watching adverts. Nobody he doesn't lock this place. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I often just come in here for sleep at night or something. There you go. A nice Dark Elves versus Dark Elves game, you know, no crazy roads, no crazy results. Mm. Peaceful and quiet. Focus on your breath. I think we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna see some probing. He's, he's very awkward because his blitzers are all very central and he wants to use a blitzer to blitz one of the linos on the right or the left but he can't because he can't get all the way around there so it's 
Ah, so he needs the bludgers for the cage. Yeah, he's gonna need to do some probing. Even at this like early stage, because you kind of you like <clears throat> you you kind of need to disrupt the line. Quite a strong formation by Jimmy. It is. It is. And uh, it the the what's it called? You know when it's uh, someone else's op like responsibility to do something about something. The Oops. onus. The onus is on uh, Gorgor Bay to break up this. <laughs> the onus is on Gorgor Bay to do something to shake this up. Yes, yeah. Evil Moose. That's it. Yeah, obviously we need to be mindful of that. This is an ongoing live situation and not say things which could in any way be deemed coaching. Um, but I could talk, if you, little, if you like, a little about the current vogue for this. Um, you see a lot of this at the moment uh, on tabletop and in these sorts of formats, the sort of line across defense, um, particularly with Garn maybe slightly dropping out of favor because of death defensive on the Amazons and things. I know we don't see that on computer, but that's why this defense has become quite on vogue. Um, and literally saying to the opponent, as you're saying, Demina, put the onus oh. on them. You need to break through. You need to get something into My the My food is arriving. Kick in. Something is happening. My food is arriving. <laughs> Yeah, he's got to do something. He's like, he, like, this is fine for Jimmy, isn't it? He just sit here, chill. Yes, I mean, if it stays in this stasis until turn seven, then obviously Jimmy's defended the drive. So that's that's what you're saying to the opponent. You know, what are you going to do about this as, as status quo? Yeah. Um, now, there are things you can do about this. You can obviously, you can one die down an edge with a blitzer and all you need to do is get a push. And then you can run past it and you've got something into the backfield. Um, that's one way to get a bit of disruption on the line working. Um, you can try and take something down and three plus two plus through with one of your dodge pieces, so a witch or a blitzer. I mean, there are you know there are options, but none of them are great options, are they? No, that's or it. Or you can try and pull back and try and alter the shape and outmaneuver them, which is what dark elves usually do. But against other dark elves, you don't have an agility advantage. You don't have a pace advantage. Yeah, this is this is really. Comfortable for Jimmy at the moment. Oh, he's abandoning the line. Mm. The one thing that um, Gorgor has got now is he has got the blitzer on the far right. So he yes, can, so you can yeah. always try that side sneak yeah. with a lone blitzer, as I said. Um, you only need a push, and you know Jimmy's only currently defending that wing with uh, you know a non-block piece, so it's a two plus to get that hole. Wants to stay but the other good thing about this is, is it's very low thinking. Um, yeah. You know, Jimmy is setting a meta problem for Gorgi Boy, but Gorgi Boy is starting his turn without, you know, without any instant pressure. problems to solve, but pressure, not able to yeah. really put any problems in front of Jimmy. Hard to know, like, who'd be happier. I mean, obviously, like, Gorgor will be happy that the clock is burning down because he doesn't want to go in too early, but he also needs to do something to kind of set up turn six seven eight like he needs to get into a position to do something to set it up for the important turns Ooh. yeah this this is fine though. Ooh. Yeah, just shuffling things around, defending that wing. Interestingly, the I see the trapdoors are in, which could be a factor in a side sneak attack. Especially with Frenzy on the field, yeah. Just standing. Yeah, dog to the dog not liking the reshuffle. I think it was about reinforcing that slightly weak line elf, the blockless one on the edge with that lone blitzer hovering, looking at a possible one die. Yeah, it was always the way he was going to go by the looks of it. <laughs> yes, actual trap space engaged. Well, you know, it is a factor. I mean, not a huge one, but it is there. Jimmy, obviously, with his good witch central, the wrestle one, the, the useless block witch slightly off to one side. No penetration. Turn four. 
Oh, very much. Bush has overrated Dimmy. It is. Say for me, it's not all about penetration, is it? Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Always. Oh. It's a point we haven't had Fermier on one world one blood, but we'll have to do that sometime. Hmm. This is. I think we're gonna see. I think we're gonna see a big turn next turn. He's gonna have to do something. Oh, one. One. Uh, can't dream, uh, Jimmy. Now. Uh, easy hit there for uh, Jimmy. Yeah. Easy hit. This well, isn't a this isn't a complicated turn at all. You can just bat him. You can hit all these three elves at the front and then just stay in front. I mean, I think he's he's centralised his elves, which. I mean, it's it's not very interesting, is it? But that's what he's done. Yeah. I think he's hoping to to get another weak wing opportunity that Jimmy doesn't close down, maybe. But at the moment, really, what we're seeing is just shadow boxing. Yeah. Hoping exactly. someone makes a positioning error, and Jimmy's not going to make a positioning error at this point. He is going to use the diagonal blocking to get a power on that blodge blitzer, which is nice. Doesn't sacrifice oh. his shape much. There's the power. Doesn't armor break, but there we are. Now he has to put an extra another power on the other side again. No armor break. No, it's his shape isn't you know isn't ideal here. He probably yeah to defend it he may be blitzing that other line elf off. It does leave a slightly weak wing, but it's hard to see how the dark elves because they've so centralised are going to take advantage of it. Yeah, it's really interesting because I thought Gorgor was posturing to come down the left this turn, but he's like you say, with him being central, he's got a long way to go. Yeah, Truk's talking about sending some players into the backfield. I mean, I, I, obviously, I love doing that as elves because it means they have to keep the backside of the cage honest. But you know, we're seeing Gorgi Boy do that anyway because of just the maneuverability of the amount of blodge pieces that Dark Elves have. Meaning they can usually get around the back if the cage is somewhere near the line, which it is at the moment. Um, the problem with taking anything into the backfield is, as we're seeing, Jimmy's using all 11 usually to make a defensive shape across. Um, taking two out of that would make it really, really tough to stop making enough holes that the cage can start progressing forward or get all the elves through, you know, at which point you really can't defend at all. You're just trying to push them in. This is tough. Yeah, I mean, Truk's saying that this is sort of like a, an enforced dacker with Gorgie Boy not really trying very hard to get through. Maybe looking to stack all those rerolls into a turn six, real hard push. I think it's just that he's not really seen someone fencing this cagey as Jimmy's doing. I think we're seeing someone try and solve this live, expecting more you know, dynamic action. Because personally, I would have, there's times I would have already tried to push more aggressively. The thing what Jimmy isn't doing is setting instant problems to solve. So you can yeah. get the ball nice and safe in a cage, and then two or three elves can try something. And if it fails, your ball is still reasonably oh. defended. Yeah, Double big dubs goals. Okay. Oh, into double power. Decides Dimi, not to take them. Give me again. Give me again. the blodger a stun would be oh, nothing. Double, double, double ones on the uh, on the cares, on the armor break. So even a stun here might give some momentum, but no one's even getting those. One, two, three. Four. No, no dirty players or sneaky gits on either side. This is all about positional controlling dark elves. So their ability to remove is very low unless they can get sideline control. And neither's giving the other that because of the witches. Turn five. Hmm. He had to re-roll it. He had to re because the way the ball is, is it's open. He like he could have moved the wrestle witch across and then he yeah. you know, could have eaten the double skull, but I'd literally just said, hadn't I, Demi, that, that what you really want to do here on the Gorgie Boy side is perhaps get your ball nice and safe in a cage and then try and attack yeah. one team to break something through. And That's instead he decided to use a corner of his cage to break something through and therefore had to re-roll it. Yeah. So maybe not the greatest of choices there. But hey, we, we have literally probably all done that. Yeah, I've definitely... And yet he's still going for that. Despite really not securing his ball, 
he went for the two one in 36 options to get that blitzer deep well Jimmy is penetrated what now Jimmy uh, he's probably gonna stay s well last I thought he would do this and then stay central with the ball last time but last time in the last game he when he broke down a sideline he brought the ball with him as well but I don't think he's got the luxury of doing it this time because he hasn't got the movement uh, with the blitzer being down and obviously the witch being on the other side so in some way a classic move from Gorgie Boy there when I said he'd over centralized it was to try and tempt Jimmy off that wing went instantly back there and hit hard even when it didn't work he decided he was committed to it and at the end of the turn has formed a nice safe cage yeah he could have done all that before he did any of the other stuff really. yeah I mean when you say could I'd, I'd up that to a should yeah <laughs> but it worked out oh here we go but this is this is disrupting the screen. So this is like what I was talking about with the onus and the momentum and all that. So yeah, I mean, what Jimmy's trying to do is sort of defend that screen, push this blitzer back somewhere where he can, you know, have control across the whole field again. Yeah. Which is why it's important that Gorgie has, as he has, oh, um, stays in contact over that side of the field, so that Jimmy has more than just the blitzer through to solve. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Um. Um, and it, it, it possibly can't all get solved uh, whilst defending the shape because, as you see, it's that, that one at the back isn't quite where Jimmy wants it to be. Yeah. Which is obviously central, keeping these chevrons up. So Jimmy's decided he can't defend the shape and hence he's going in instead, putting some contact in and hoping that that defends. So finally we have some interesting action. Oh. That's a little bit wide. Well, it looks like he's shut-ish down the right side. Yeah, I mean, there's a little bit of witch threat there, but it, at this point it would be you know, fairly radical to try witching that to uh, a very random line elf off the pitch, wouldn't it? Yeah, he's got to shore up this left side. He does, though. Obviously, in Blodge we trust. You know, even a two die from a blockless piece on a blodge dark elf is is safe-ish. I mean, there's only one way Gorgor's going for me. Oh, takes it. I'm a break. Casualty. Okay, so. My God. Jimmy's first casualty of the World Championships comes on turn five of game five. And it's a serious injury. And it's no and apple. Yeah, so you eat that. You can't throw an apple at a random line elf with a serious injury. You need it for one of your, your well, the only witch he's got particularly. You would really need to keep that on the field. Or any of the blodge blitzers or the, for some reason, assassin. Oh, and Gorgor has no bench because he has the Apo, so he's actually down a player for the rest of the game. Yep. Okay, that maxes him at 10, which makes defending, as we said, across the wall harder. Yeah, too. harder, yeah. And uh, one turners, all sorts. Hmm. So that's what this commitment to this single blitzer through has cost him. Now, can he use it? Has it created enough space or opportunities? I mean, this falls apart on a full pal. Well, if I were Gorgie Boy, I mean, the blitzer that's down, obviously, 2-2 two, two pluses, and it's away back into the backfield, out past yeah. the trap as well. Um, then there's another blitzer that can 2-plus its way down the same flank, past that slightly weak line elf. Um, the obvious thing is to come round the left, but actually the number of blodge blitzers there makes that a really tricky place to advance and secure some space. If I went that way, it would be trying to use the witch on one dying through the bottom blitzer to move it twice out the way. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. And then come all the way through. And I'd be quite tempted by that because it's quite a sexy play. <laughs> The uh, the hilarious thing about the trap is it means the Blitzer's got a GFI to get away from being surfed after he gets up. <laughs> or he has to stand... No, two two pluses, right? mate. But you could go... Well, you mean go through the trap? Two plus to the edge, two plus just ahead of the trap, then past the trap, and then one beyond it. 
the, the GFI, yeah, yeah. No, one, two, three, four. Diagonal down right, and then two, then three diagonal down left. But two, two plus dodges. Oh, I see, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's got dodge, so there's a one in 36s. But I mean, the traps added that dodge for like. Yes, it has. It has caused yeah, an issue. Yeah, You'd yeah. rather do the dodge than walk through the trap. Yeah, yeah. So he is going through that flank. Like I said, this problem here is you've moved him about, but you were always unlikely to knock him over. Yeah, I don't think he's going anywhere, PC. I think he's gonna kill. Is he gonna run a? Yeah, he's gonna run that blitz. Well, that's why I like to moving the lower blitzer and creating that huge gap Probably between it moving two spaces and yeah. the witch, and then I could have driven the whole team through there. Yeah, that blitz is. I think he's going to 3-2 through. Oh, he's got the gap there, sorry. And that's the blitzer he's now going to go out round wide. Which may not be far enough forwards. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So I think what's been really important on this drive so far, I mean, obviously the removal is, is great and it does, it's a huge swing in equity. But actually it was Jimmy's response to the Blitzer coming through, not only pushing it back, so tightening what he was trying to defend, but then realizing the weakness of trying to defend across whilst one of his halves was crumbling and deciding it was time to go all in and trust the blodge. Yep. Um, and so far I think that's paid off, even though Gorgie Boy looks to have got around the edge. I think Jimmy's going to be able to get back in front of this. It's going to be very hard to keep it safe. I mean, at the moment, that ball's hanging out loose, but only for a, a one die needing a power. So Jimmy's not going to go for that, I don't think. But he'll certainly have some ball contact, you think? That's never nice. No one loves having their balls nudged, even if you feel safe. Yep. Yeah, yeah it does go through there, yeah. Yeah, I think I don't think we're going for the ball without the wrestler. I'd say impossible to switch back now. Um, there just isn't time. Uh, uh, unless Jimmy completely messes this up, he's probably going to have to leave some elves in the midfield, meaning that it is down this flank now. Oh, will Jimmy push the blitzer to the trapdoor? That would be hilarious. Um, I mean, it's I possible for me, but <laughs> not if he's got a lot of sense. It's, it, 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 it doesn't yeah, auto-activate. Yeah. It's <laughs> a bit rubbish. <laughs> and it's, it's nowhere near the ball. But other than that, a fun plan. <laughs> yeah. He's thinking about it. Ah, uh, he is, yeah. <laughs> I saw him hover his mouse over in that direction. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, Jimmy counting, absolutely gripping. Well, I mean, there's definite bull shots here. Oh, yeah, 100%. It's just, is it worth it? And various what, routes. What are you talking I about? Can see, I can see a 3-2, two, 2 plus, 3 plus, 2 plus for 2 die on the ball um, with the Wrestle Witch. Which is probably what you want to go with. He's already activated the wrestle witch. He's, uh, oh, has that already moved? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'd have to do. Well, it sorry, the block witch, the central one. Oh, okay. The wrong witch, the one that should be wrestled but isn't. I didn't want to give too much away about the plan in case ears were on, um, but Jimmy's obviously not going for it. It did involve a, a one die with block, followed by a two die, uh, to get that three two. Sorry, two three two for two die with the uh, block. Two three two. I think he's just banging away. And frenzy, yeah. it would have been a you know two die into two die. But there's probably better coming next turn. Huge son, dead for the drive. Almost. Yeah, the problem with this is the gate dodge, isn't it? 
He hasn't blitzed yet, has he? No. He's going for it. This is the hole. He's going for it. I don't know. There no we go. Recovery. No recovery. Even if he powers it. Pow. Okay, chooses not to reroll. That's the problem with this build. It's uh, lots and lots of positional control, not so many rerolls. Oh, I sure think that's probably that. a sensible choice with the problems that uh, Gorgo Bay is now in. Yeah, this is this is really hard for Gorgor. But he's Dark Elf, so he, it might be absolutely fine. <coughs> Yeah, that power really helps. Now he can pick mm -hmm. up a bit slower, and now he can get the whole cage through there. Well, now there's a route down through the middle. Yeah, yeah, this is it. So you just blitz up bit slower, and everyone piles through, and it's it's pretty pretty straightforward. I just got to do like a three plus dodge at some point. Now. Goes with the wrestler. That is, Ooh, yeah, that's the that's problem. not what he wanted, and there's only one reroll. He can't reroll it, can he? Yeah. He can and he does. Ooh. Playing very much for the win here. And oh. it's the one in nine. He's got so that does get wrestled down now, but at least yeah. it's left the way clearer. Now there's a no dodge route through. But he's got no rerolls for any GFIs either, which is. No rerolls. There's two the L's that can come Lord with him terrain. not needing dodges. And then the Blitzer can yeah. dodge off. Five, That's three. And then there's a three two for the fourth Blitzer to join. Well, he needs a rush to cover the left side line. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, with the blodge blitzer and the two from the back, it's it's the three two that's going to be the worry. The other three corners of the cage can be there. But he's got to make a three plus two plus dodge for that. Yeah, it's the three two, but it's a one in nine, one in thirty six. Oh. Ooh. If he fails this, oh, like, <sighs> failed that, like, that would have almost certainly been game, yeah. yeah. That's not the spot I'd be stopping in. No. No, that's definitely not the spot I'd be stopping in. Oh, dear. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, he didn't. That's, that is seven. So he just didn't want to rush it. But he's going to be leaving on something. The Blitzer could have gone one space further forward. And then the other Blitzer could have double dodged to get in front of it, and the two line elves could have formed the back corner on the line, on the line where the ball is. And then the three two could have finished a perfect cage with no ball contact. Did he? I it think perfectly possible if the ball was one space further forward. Yeah, I think we would have seen that had he not used the reroll on the the witch one in nine. So even if he gets out, this cage is going to be based. Based. He does get out. It's not based. <laughs> it's or not, or not cage, closed. One, one or the other. <laughs> it's not a cage, Jeeva. Yeah. With only one more dodge covered two, two plus on top of those rolls, that cage could have been one space further forwards and in classic shape. So, oh, to my mind, that's just... an error. No, he's going to get, yeah. get more than one die on it and he won't get the Wrestle Witch on it until oh. the follow-up hits. Uh, one into one. Wow, I don't know. Yeah, one into one into, into two, two into two with wrestle. Yeah. So you're just looking for push, push into wrestle, wrestle, really. Push, push. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Can't have a. Going to use a lot of L's. Yeah, because the space you want it in is the space Jimmy just looked at filling. Jimmy just looked at filling up. Yeah, absolutely. Here we go then. He's going to have to close the other side with the, one of the blitzers, presumably. Okay, with two of them then. Yeah. So he's doing one into one into the wrestler. If it needs it once it gets there. And then still with three elves, four elves, five elves, if it, if either of these pals. There you go. Something about there it you're looking for the magic result. And all because Push. he decided not to be the one space forward he really should have been. Oh. Has to re-roll it now. That should have been a witch elf with wrestle. Block 
Bell's just wrong on witches. Well, he's got it now, and he, this is. Well, now he gets two die with wrestle. Into two die with wrestle. He needs to put a. Uh, in fact, if he puts another one in, he can have another. No, that's that's a, a wrong color brow. There we go, gets his power. Full bow. Oh. Armor wreck. <laughs> oh, I'd have pushed it one to the outside. The better bounces away from the elves. Yeah. But it falls free. This should be oh. all away for Jimmy now. He definitely oh, oh he's the golden oh, yeah. age of the a scoring threat, maybe. Should have definitely had a score in front before with this. I think he's looking at the handoff this time. Oh, yeah, man. if he makes it, I think he gets there, doesn't he? Oh yeah, hundred percent. Well, so, we are in the uh, handoff activation. Oh, he's not even putting the threat in. Wow. This is a two plus two plus. Uh, oh, has to use it. So now it's a two plus to win the yeah. game. So I don't see oh, how you stop this elf if it gets away. The assassin maybe has a single shot, I, but then you Have can you dodge off with the blitzer for covering. No it. Has to hand off, Dibby. There's no point in not doing it. Has to has to hand off. Yep. I mean, the point I, is that oh, it's horrible. Has to be done. Has to be done, Dibby. Has to be done, Dibby. Sometimes you have to roll a dice. Big boy pants. And roll a pick. There you go. Like a fucking champ. There we go. I think we're good. And there you go, and who's carrying the ball? And now the Blitzer presumably Me. dodges to cover it, or one dies it to move it into a much tougher one place. Day, I'd, one I'd day, do man. the dodge, probably. Did you do the dodge? Well, I don't know. I mean, the one die is pretty tempting, on a two plus, of course. It either moves to a much worse position or goes down. That's good. Oh, Shadow in is oh, bringing but it closer. Shadow yeah. is a thing! Oh, God. If it shadowed once, I wouldn't dodge again. It would be in a tougher position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's pretty things. nice. Incredible that's where things. to stop if he is stopping, probably, isn't it? With the classic four. And then also meaning that if Jim does get the score, that he doesn't have to score on his drive, which means... Which means he can then, just turtle, but it's still yeah. better to play a good, you know, play a good solid game and get it done, because then you definitely can't be caught. Yeah. The problem with turtling is that you tend to get pushed back, so if it suddenly goes wrong, they score. Yeah, and he doesn't have to play like correctly, which helps. Now the problem here is that Jimmy has stopped on exactly the line that he needs to get there, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, he can't get there. He can touch him, but he cannot stab him without some form of sexy push. I don't see any easy pushes for him. Oh, this is all very tough, isn't it, for Gorgio Bay? Um, Cosmigal84, it's interesting, isn't it? I, I, I mean, I challenge the chat. Do you think Jimmy will Dakka from here or not? I know he doesn't like no. the Dakka with the Dark Elves. He thinks they're too slow, which they are, and that they often get caught and can't get through, which they often do. Um, I don't think Dakka is the option because... Of course, the opponent's going to be at 10 Elves maximum, so yes, 10 I just thought there'll be space to get by. And if you Dakka, you are too close to your own uh, thousand lines, so if anything goes wrong, the Dark Elves yeah. of Gorgor Bay will have an easy job picking up the ball and scoring. Yeah, I agree. So you want to keep them busy away can. from your uh, touchdown line, and if something wrong happens, at least they won't able to score instantly. A shallow Dakar. Yeah. I mean, there's no, you're not going to necessarily, just because you're not Dakar, it doesn't mean you're going to go full contact from turn one. There are shades of what one yeah. does. He, he will go for a Gatius uh, offense. Yeah, no, yesterday people were talking about liquid offense, solid offense, so we are missing the third state. Gatius offense. Range. He's not in range for this. Unless no. he goes through. He, he, he isn't go... even then. No, he is. If he goes <sighs> through the middle there, like... No, I thought nine still put him next to the elf, no matter what he did. Oh, disgusting! He didn't even dance. Oh my God! Oh who's the scoring? Who's the scoring? What's the name of the player the scoring? Absolutely oh, terrible! Me. They're just pieces in a game. Why? That was that was a terrible play. play. I would have touched down, danced my ass off with that one. Oh my God! That's because you're toxic, Dimmy.
Uh, think of the emotional damage from that one. That would have been huge. Ah, yes, of course, Sol. You can get there in nine and then still stab. Yeah, yeah. Good point. Because stab doesn't take a... It's like a foul. It doesn't take a square of movement because it's a special action. Yeah, yeah. If he, he could have done there. those dodges and got next to it, he could have still stabbed. <laughs> yeah, he had to go through that gap in the middle, though. He couldn't go he did. the outside. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, yeah, I saw. Thanks a lot, uh... Go let's take it. I'm doing my job here. No talk. You can do. You can stab it, or even at full nine movement. <clears throat> or you could on blood bowl. I don't know if it's different in the actual rules, but you could always do it in blood bowl. But two my nice moments there. If you're watching and you're very impressed with Jimmy's play, which I think has been, I think we can agree has been very good. Um, the two things I really really liked was the one die one die into the wrestle witch, and the sheer kahunas not to take. The both down when he uh, regrettably obviously had a block witch, which was a mistake he made pregame. Um, but to have the nuts to re-roll that, knowing that even if it was a one and ended his turn, that he would have given up the score. But on any kind of push, it was going to give him dice with his wrestle witch. Uh, and similarly, the handoff, which of course had to get done. Um, yep. Less dangerous, there's ways it, it could still have not done it until the next turn, but even then, he would have have to have handed off next turn. So that yeah. two plus needed to get done at some point, and doing it then was game winning. Whereas doing it, it next turn was a lot riskier. But if he won it, then Gorgor could have still scored, which was the thing that I was scared of. Yeah, but to win, you have to chance losing sometimes, didn't you? That's true. And it was still five out of six of, you know, almost certainly winning the game. Blitz. Sorry, oh. uh, Bombadil BB. A, a DACA is an informal term for what we would often call a withdrawn offence, whereas instead of trying to push forward on a fence, you pick up the ball and you run away backwards, both trying to minimise the number of turns that the opponent can hit you, uh, and also hoping that they get out of shape coming forwards, leaving you an easy way past. Solid. This is a great defence from Jimmy for the Blitz. <clears throat> I don't think uh, Gorgo is going to capitalise on this one. Tough too. Jimmy has set up an anti-blitz defence with the chevrons all the way across the pitch, meaning there's no easy one hit that allows the full team through a hole. What there is, of course, um, is slightly weak wings uh, with no blodge pieces on the wings. That's obviously, and that's what we're seeing is the one die attack on the wing, only needing push to create some space. Now, the problem that counters this is you can't use rerolls on this blitz. So getting away from the edge and using dodge is not easy. You could use block, but you can't use dodge. I don't like that push direction. It limits even more how deep his elves can get away from the edge and away from Jimmy's witches. This click, or he just wanted to stop him getting a 2D on the... I guess he wanted to stop himself getting a serve. And again, with one centralised witch and one witch on the wrong side for Jimmy, the witches are not in the right place, as well as one of them having the wrong skill. Well, we, I can already see two surfs. Yeah, now Jimmy doesn't need to panic about the ball. Um, if they score, he gets the <clears> ball back. So I'd be looking at the surfing here. Double surf. Employ the, the well, yes, what we should officially call the Davo Gambit. He is literally tempting Jimmy to mess up his uh, very easy stabilization phase by overcommitting to surfing things. This is definitely Ooh. the Davo Gambit. And if I was Jimmy, oh, I'd absolutely God. take it. That the ball is deep like enough that it should be safe. He's got a blitz about there with Dodge to pick it up. I would be looking to surf some players. I mean, getting rid of those players for the rest of the drive and probably the game is always nice. Yeah, I think, Henning, we should definitely call this the, ga the Devo Gambit. I think that's... Where you deliberately expose yourself to obvious surfing risk in order to try and destabilize the other player. Knowing that if it was Andy Devo, it would work. Mm, are we double surfing? I would be looking to do that. Oh, look at this. It's, this is this is yes, Jim and his yes, there is a... Jim's brain firing. There is many sharp opportunities here. So, 
is that right in Blood Bowl 3 though, Artemis? Because I know I know oh. that Blood Bowl had it wrong where you could... Because in Blood Bowl 2, you could double GFI and stab. And I know that was different from Tabletop. But I don't know if it is anymore. And I don't know if Blood Bowl 3 have got it coded correctly <laughs> as well. So... Because it wasn't correct in the last edition. Here we go. Things are going to happen. It is correct in BB3, okay. Oh, big. So, stab costs a movement point. Does chainsawing cost a movement point then? And what about fouling vomit? doesn't. What about vomit on a crawl? Yeah, what about vomit? Hypno doesn't. Shadowing. Shadowing cool. Uh... Cool avoid the star? Vomit does. Interesting. Yeah, BB2 had it wrong. Now goes for the pickup. Like a sensible adult. Like yeah, but he had it screaming adult. before he went for the surf attack. So Jimmy managed to prioritize both stabilizing first and to get in the surf done. Um, so I, I, I loved that. Great shape. Great work from Jimmy. Uh, I don't see the double surf, though. I can see a single surf. Not double no, one. I think it was... Uh, they were more easy to do without uh, taking down that player he took down. Well, you can... oh, he, hasn't got any, he hasn't got enough players to do the double one now. But this is probably safer. Now, Gorgabe has put the right skill on his Witch, but the problem there is it's his Witch. And using that Blitz, obviously it was the wrong side of the pitch for his one Witch, which is now out of position, which is the problem with one Witch. Um, meaning that he can't really effectively surf back. Has he got enough he has movement lost the to... surf battle before it's even <laughs> begun. Has he got enough movement to jump over the player? Or is he just going to free plus dodge back? Yeah, if not, you just dodge back twice. I mean, you've got dodge. That's what it's oh, for. he's got the... Yeah, he's got the... Yeah. <laughs> What's he thinking? It's red dice to put that one in trouble, and uh, he's thinking, do I risk it or not? Because putting that blitz up on the edge behind the wall, which would That's be 2D. just That's lovely. 2D. It's 2D. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's one of his. Okay, well, then he does it, yeah, for sure. Then the witch can stay there. <laughs> Gorgor Bay is in. Oh, look at me with 3 SPP. And, uh, all kinds of trouble now, yep. yep. And a time is full of chicken, and now. Down two players as well. That blitz, he may, he should have just skipped the blitz. No, Debbie, what he should have done was exactly what he did, but pushed the piece instead of diagonally downwards, pushed it sideways, creating oh, more space for his other elves yeah. to come through, and risked a couple of go for it to get them away for the edge, creating some backfield pressure whilst not exposing himself this much to the, the surf, leaving just only the blitzer that did it to possibly get surfed. In which case, that would have taken. I don't a even. I don't, I don't think exploit. it's worth getting a blitz of stuff. Period. I think. I think he probably should have just blitzed something with block and then chilled. Oh, that's a lino without the block. But you're overlooking that he's one down on his drive, Diddy. He has to make something happen. Yeah, but you're yeah. going to make something happen with more blo like blitzers than you are without. A you're just throwing a blitzer away. Well, then you need to m make a plan that even if it's a 2-2-2 two, two, two afterwards, the blitzer keeps moving until it's not at blitz range. Yeah, but you yeah, had yeah. to use that blitz to pressure the backfield, and you couldn't leave that many on the edge. Particularly with a blodge piece back there, just to pick up on a 2, and then everything could be surfing. It was... I mean, I'm all for hanging your balls out when you need to win, but that was, you know, hung out the window when everyone could see. And I don't care if that metaphor makes me old school. I don't know. He's just thrown away a blitzer. It's very sad. <laughs> or throw away all chance to win the game. Wow, he's, uh, he's got eight turns. Like, it's... Yeah, but you've seen how difficult it is once it's on a blodge piece and all you've got is one wrestle witch to try and get in there and get it down. Oh, oh, the jump over. The two... Oh, and what is that? It's like a 5 plus jump, 3 plus 2 plus 1D. <laughs> Mad lad. We're going we're gonna to lose another blitzer. Eh? Cool happen. He's jumping. He's a... 
Well, better on the oh, ground wow. than off, because you can't get surfed on the grass. He did uh, but you can, but not without another piece standing somewhere nearby. Uh, I mean... I... I like, oh, no, 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 no. It's, it's not quite doable, I don't think. For real, for real, no cab. Uh, Gorgor Bay getting a uh, Russian here. Yeah, this is this is really slipping away from Gorgor. This is, this um, is cool. it's worse than that, Sol. Where you've typed old school. Actually, what I said was old school, where the CH is of course replaced by a K. No cap. That's how we rolled down my ends. Not bringing the pressure on the blitz is the same as conceding. Wow. He, like, right, okay, so, yeah, I agree with what you were saying, but he literally would have been better off had he just clicked end turn. <laughs> yes, because sometimes no plan is better than a terrible plan. He yes. was yes. way better. Yes. We have seen many times what happened to the time. Time. Yes. I, I absolutely agree with that, Diddy. I absolutely agree with that, Diddy. But look at this situation. What are you going to do now? Oh, oh yeah, he's, he's just going to face everything, just face glorious. everything. No, you're six, or if, you know, if you're lucky, five plus a game to two die against with Wrestle on a blodge piece. You're, not, you're, not, you're just basing everything, you're not going in, you're just basing everything. And Jimmy doesn't have to go anywhere. Glorious. Yeah, so yeah. I do think he needed to use the Blitz, but he needed to use it better I'm and take victorious. bigger risks that left oh, nothing near the edge. Oh, I'd rather be on the ground risking grass burn than somewhere surfable. But he did need to come in. Glorious. No, I won't give in. Until yeah, I'm yeah, victorious. Yeah, yeah. Everything. And I will right. defend. I will defend. Well, that's all you've got at this point is base everything, but that also makes some fairly easy routes to move an entire cage up the field fairly easily and go to. No, now. I won't give in. Until I'm victorious. Yeah, and I will defend. He's elves, isn't he, mate? I will he's defend. In He's in loads of trouble. Yes, Demi, he's two elves down losing the game. Yes, he's in trouble. Who are not in trouble are the five people that got the uh, subscription gift from G. Kynestyle. And I don't recognize the names of the people that got the subscription. So they are they are good subscription. It's not like that time we, you know, we saw Keolan getting a gift of the subscription or something like that. <laughs> Yeah, that guy. You know, the, the regulars of the channel, they suddenly... Oh, oh, oh. The riffraff. Yeah, well done, J. Can style. Um, if I were you, next time I'd wait until Jimmy's on to be actually grateful, because we're casters, we don't get any of that, and we don't give a damn. Well, I'm pretty sure if Jimmy wins the World Cup, he will uh, make a good excuse to not pay around next time we see him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Clingy bastard. Oh, he's Don't forget this game is uh, sponsored by the Gregs in Darlington, the Gregs in Night in High Row. Tomorrow could be a glorious day for that Gregs. Wow. With the celebrations of the Jimmy's victory, if Jimmy managed to win. That was really passive. So this is a variation of what I was talking about in the first half. What Jimmy's doing here is because he doesn't need to go anywhere at all. He's setting his cage nice and safely, and then he's looking at what else he can do. So now, hit the green, can I move into the backfield? Can I create space, or can I just relieve pressure? And all of it's fine because he's already safe. Whereas, as we saw when uh, Gorgi Bay did break through, it was with a corner of his cage, meaning that, as Diddy said, he had to reroll the, the double yeah. skull, for example. Super passive. Oh, double pow. And he's rig hitting. The good old legs, I would Yeah, he really there. needed that blodge piece to stay, and it has, so that's very, very useful for Gorgi Bay. And oh my god, Baldi Hart. I did my part, guys. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> I did my part. Baby. Wow. Elliot, Elliot, this is your time to shine. I'm here. Um, we will count. <laughs> oh. Very unfortunate uh, turns of events there. 
And this is the, but the, still, Jimmy has all the equity advantage here. Hold on. Um, I didn't lie that it failed. I have to confess, I'd have done it too. Oh. Just as I said, at the moment, he's in such a bull position that to get more elves up, causing problems by being places that Gorga Bay doesn't want them, I always think is good. And I don't expect to die from the grass. But it happens. Yeah, I mean, these Dark Elves don't even have armbar. <laughs> there you go, there you go. Uh, one of the most relevant skills in Blood Bowl 2020 by being the fact of a new skill that nobody really understands. No, I mean, when I've seen Rick Reckless random it and he says it's a hit, so there we go. Armbar. Oh, confirmed. then if Rick, if Rick uh, random said and get it, then yeah. Yeah, yeah he was Better like, to yeah. have it than not to have it. This is a hit. And I believe him. I have full faith in Rick. Yeah. Oh. He's just got dodge on manual for some reason. Yeah, well, it's because of the one turners, isn't it, PC? Because yeah. you like everyone you can't has trust to have it on manual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Programmed yeah. it right. Yeah, yeah. You just you can't play Blood Bowl three with it on man uh, on whatever it is also. Um, it's quite a good shape from Gorgie Bay here. This is uh, what looks like a weak defense in front of the advance up the left-hand side as we look. Actually, because that's the Blodge Blitzers, again, really hard to just not do anything other than move them around and find they're still a problem. So if Jimmy was looking to push here, it's probably going to actually be the other side. It's the collapsed cage side because there's only one Blodge piece there. There's a chance of some knockdowns creating some room, but... Actually, I didn't hate it, particularly as what came into the cage wasn't the blodge pieces. Because if you could leave those behind and outmaneuver them, you know, you're gone. You like through the middle. I think I don't think it, I don't think it's going to go anywhere. To be honest, I think it's just. I, I I don't think he is. No. Uh, oh, Jimmy finding the one D. <laughs> oh. oh, oh. oh. <laughs> oh, he found the 1D, you know, the most difficult uh, <laughs> role to find. He managed, wow. he managed to do it. <laughs> I'll make it two dice, oh, I'll just throw a one -er. Oh man, that was hilarious. Oh, gets. Okay. Now he's got a one in thirty six to finish this cage. What, what, what terrible odds is this? Everything on the line. Uh... I mean, I've seen a Jimmy game before. It's basically yes, a one in yes. three. I've seen Jimmy losing games uh, in much better situations than this one, but. If you are scared of rolling a 1 in 36, stop playing Blood Bowl. Well, his, his mess up there in doing the one die, I think, will respond in Jimmy. Absolutely panicking, breathing quite heavily, building a solid cage, <laughs> and then trying nothing else until the end of the game. Because he's yeah, not completely crippled by fear. Yeah, I mean, essentially, I'm saying that without... The breathing without... heavily part is guaranteed. Oh. Has he left Oof. something on here? Hmm. Oh also, because God. Jimmy, I mean, bless him, he's a dreamer, isn't he? We all know. Um, in his mind, there's eight grand in his pocket right now. So when he realised that was a one die, which is after he threw it, he suddenly realised that eight grand was heading into the toilet. Oh, no, he didn't throw it. He just, he, he like... Pathed out of bits and then he cancelled it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He cancelled the bleach, which uh, I don't think in tabletop that would be allowed. You know, you announce you will bleach. No, you can. You, okay. you can. No, you yeah, can. You yeah, yeah once you declared it, I did it on tabletop the other day. I worked everything out, but I forgot to move one player in, cancelling two assists before I declared the blitz because I was tired. It was game four and I wasn't going to win, so was, my mind was drifting. So when I got there, I realised it was dice against, and went, "Well, then I'm just not blitzing," and dodged back out again. It's absolutely fine. What you can't do anymore is change to a different blitz target. You have to hit the one you've declared on. But you could not hit it.
Yeah, there was a chain to open it, but it, I mean, it wasn't the easiest of chains. Um, I, I do think you have to find some way of getting in at this point. Are we on turn 12, turn 13, four turns. It's just not nobody won the first game in a fight, all fight. Nobody it was a draw. One it's one. Like, you can clear this cage with like one two D. It's just not good enough. Yeah. And he doesn't have to do anything else, he doesn't yeah, have to yeah, go yeah. anywhere. It's not quite enough pressure, is it? It's not. It's nowhere near enough pressure. And you need to show a bit of leg at some point because you need to get in there. You need to create an opportunity. And even if it's tempting Jimmy to go for the score when you know it's only two percent riskier than it is now, that's probably still a gain to you, equity-wise. Because if he hasn't sussed it by yet, Jim has no intention of scoring right now. Nope. <laughs> Cosmic Girl says he can hear Jimmy's heartbeat rising and he's in Ibiza. Ooh. Oh, spicy. I mean, wait, wait. You're in Ibiza and you're watching Blue Ball? If I was in charge of predictions, I wouldn't have done what, 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 sorry, two wins in the game. But, uh, get your priorities right. You can watch would... it in YouTube next week if you want. Actually, I am a moderator, so I could have done this. Um, my prediction choice would have been how high-pitched would Jimmy's voice be when he comes on after the game? And how long will it take him to calm down and do a full sentence without having to gasp for breath? <laughs> Well, last yeah. night it was about four hours. <laughs> Which is great. Isn't it fabulous that we play a silly kids game and it can move us in that way? Yeah, honestly. Yeah. And uh, this uh, gets uh, the Jimmy versus Andy one step closer. <laughs> Medicine Dan's going for a high E and five hours till he calms down and can do a full sentence without gasping. Uh, I think that's that's it. probably that's gone right in the middle there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Here we go. Pop, boom, pop, boom, pop. Uh... You can chain the ball out and base the ball, maybe. Well, we didn't mention it, but Jimmy's, of course, pushed a blitzer into the backfield, which is nice. Yep, he has. What's going on here? This is the most convoluted chain push ever. I well, think he's hoping against hope to knock a blit blodge blitzer over, which yeah, I've never. I mean, there's easier like, targets really. in life, isn't there? I've never, I've never. Put, it's like whenever I play with a blodger, it gets. Oh, pow. he gets his pow. Finally, finally yeah. gets the pow. Oh, I'm gonna be dead, isn't it? Dead, I'm just giving a little round of applause because it's all he's gonna get for it. Yeah, it doesn't even break armor, of course. Yeah. <laughs> but the ball is base. It's a little bit more tricky. This turns a little bit more pressure, but. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's a two plus with re roll for a two plus handoff to win the game. Two nil. Yep. I'd do that, Divi. I mean, call me old fashioned. I mean, I'd move a couple of pieces to sort of vaguely ensure like positions first. But oh no, hang on. That's mildly more hard. It's two plus two plus two plus. That's now two two pluses. No, no three, three two three, plus. Three three. Wow, you could do a block as well. This is not enough. I mean. That felt like a bit of a concede turn, that one. I'm just done with it. No, he, I think <laughs> I he was trying care. to come in hard and see what he could get <laughs> out of it, and the answer was not very much. And then he got frustrated and just fell to hitting Gave stuff. Up. Yeah, that looked like uh, uh, the fight of him just kind and of... And again, we've all been there. You know, you have yeah. a good plan, you only need a pow, and it doesn't, it pushes, and you yeah. hit, and you hit, and then you're just doing it on automatic. You just and... don't care anymore. Oh, he's yeah. good playing. Save himself a two plus, very nice. Oh, no. He didn't take the power. He's gonna, he's gonna try and save. Yeah, I did, it didn't the power do it. One, two, three, four, five. This saves him one, two, one. No, two, it four. didn't. Whereas oh, doing did. this and then pushing it back the other way saves him all the two pluses. Now it's just a single two plus handoff. Well, he's but got he does to, need to now push it without block. block. Oh, yeah. oh no, the blitzer does it. Yeah, one, yeah. two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. 
splits are up. No, it's no, you can't still do. only two die without block, this but you don't need to push. Anyway. This is madness. And it oh, won it. Yeah, oh, Brilliant. Yeah. Another <laughs> the one in nine is out of the way. This is all to, he could have taken the power. This is all to save a single two plus. Yeah, yeah. This is. And this instead, is, he's risked is, one in is, nine. But hey, very it's complicated, technically, very convoluted. Technically, but, that was a better use of resources, and he has saved a reroll, possibly. Oh, an absolute knobhead. <laughs> no, it was sort of the right thing to do. <laughs> but I would probably Absolutely. have taken the power, and then and here we go. Plus two plus. Oh, and it was a there two. There you go, rolls a two. Didn't even dance, wow. Well, he's he's, not, he's not going in. Down. He's stopping nah, there. He's not, he's not going in. He's not in range. Yeah. Why Which risk a two blast race? when you've got a one in 36 to do it next turn? And it's much No, I, I would have, have danced to the, salt, to the stall square. I wouldn't have even scored. I would have just danced my way into the backfield. Just because, you know... So toxic, eh? <laughs> so why, why, when you're going to win anyway, would you want to make your opponent unhappy, Dimmy? It's nothing to do with them. It's just to make me happy. Like, because, you know, I don't score very often, so when I do, I like to enjoy it. Also, I don't think why, I don't know why people get so. And that's the Gorgor Bay. Yeah. And there you go, Jimmy, the game is yours. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. We're so, done here. Jimmy goes through to the last. Gary on! 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 He's thinking it's not correct to score because of a touchback and a timeout and all that and the blitz or whatever. At 2-0, it's oh. fine. It's absolutely fine yeah, at 2-0. Yeah, yeah, I know. There it's, you go. One <laughs> no, slightly was, quicker to win 1-0, one one less set up. You're getting two touchdowns in the same game. No. Oh, yeah, whoever, whoever wins Dog to the Dog goes through. And if you lose, you don't go through. Oh. There you oh. go. Congratulations, uh, Jimmy. Let's not forget that the the score uh, I was the one scoring. So uh, all <laughs> thanks to me. Yep. Thank one you very game, much for having me. Having this channel, having the competition. <laughs> Thank you very much. What a what a legend. What a game. Very intense game. And uh, I'm pretty sure the. A sponsor of this game, the virtual sponsor, the Gregs in 19 High Row in Darlington, <laughs> will be celebrating all the way tomorrow morning. You know, bacon rolls with the face of Jimmy on them. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Yeah, I've, I've, been, I've been on the High Row Gregs a few times <laughs> in my time. Oh, dear. Oh, hello, PC. I heard hey, you laughing. Jimmy, uh, well played. I thought there was a couple of turns in there I really liked. Thanks very much. Oh, God. Oh, it's crazy. It's crazy how stressful this is. My God. My God, it's crazy how stressful this is. I'm a little bit lightheaded, in fact. <laughs> not, not only was I just as stressed as last time, I'm actually lightheaded. I, it killed me to do a two plus there at the end, but I had to do it. I had to do Jimmy, it. Lightheaded, maybe it's all your blood going to somewhere else in your body. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, to my brain for once. <laughs> That's not the part I was meaning, but yeah, okay. <laughs> not I again. Jim, we all thought you'd be very calm. Yeah, no, I. I mean, I should have been right. I should have been off the first half. I should have been calm. But oh my god, how good was the anti blitz setup, guys? Oh my god, brilliant. It was nice, brilliant. very nice. I was yeah, so yeah, happy. Very nice, very he nice. Was fat set of a reasonably tough testing trial. You know, how do you blitz against an anti blitz setup? And I think we can all say, not like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it got, it, I was really happy to blitz the assassin, like get the assassin off, right? Because it, that's the best way to get a blodger, probably, right? You can just yep. dodge into the cage and stab yep. me, and then I'm gone. So, yeah, with only one really wrestle, which, yeah, yeah, really happy um, about that. 
Yeah, I mean, Dibby was saying he would have not used the Blitz at all. Um, yes, I was yeah. saying I would have used it, but been more aggressive with it. I, I think he needed to push. If it was a push, it had to go sideways and still dodge off and pass and away from the edge. Mm. Oh, there you are. We have Sinai the is the studio here. It's in the well played. Thanks, Sinai. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, went, you went for the SAR. You went for the SAR. We, yeah. we named yeah. it. He offered you the Davo Gambit. <laughs> decided you took the Davo Gambit. <laughs> I had to. I had to for the assassin. Oh, yeah, the assassin was good. Oh, yeah, but I really liked the way you actually put a nice safe screen into the ball first. So even if it had gone wrong, you had you know the ball carrier and two other decent elves back there to sort it out, and yeah. you'd have had difficulty getting through to the ball still. And then you took advantage of the terrible, terrible situation <laughs> he left himself in with the half fast split. Yeah. So I thought yeah. that was a really nice turn, exploiting the situation that you were given. Thanks. Um, really liked it. Thanks. And with Dimi, I would have just blitz, by the way, because I mean, well, I'm not in, in his position. One nil down has to win, or yeah, he loses. He yes, you, you, you're good. right, PC. Yeah, he did have to. He'd, he'd have to go full, full commit, roll all the dice. Yeah. And the wing to. was the weak point. It was the right point. It just he needed to commit more. Yeah, yeah, he did. No, you're absolutely correct. Yeah. So in a normal game, I think Dimi's right. Just blitz somebody and stay where you are, because it's you know, and then hope you get something later. So in a normal game, where a one-one draw would have been fine. I like Dimmy's play of just doing a blitz and being safe, but um, yeah, hundred percent. But yeah, but in this situation, yeah, he just had to go. He had to go all uh, in. No, it's the differing know. risk profiles of a knockout situation. Oh, he didn't have situation. to win. No, he only had to score a touchdown. He didn't have to win, did he? He, he just had to no. score a touchdown. Yeah, he had to turn. Yeah, you yeah, he had yeah. to turn me over. So, so no, I guess no. Maybe me, 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 me no. Me, so I think I'd probably been, I'd have probably been cautious like Dimmy yeah, and try to get the touchdown later. If he had to win, if I'd won the first game and he had to win two one. On, then absolutely he should have done what you said yeah if he, but he, he did only need the draw out of this game but I mean it the wasn't problem is, Jimmy, that you're win. already an elf up and the yeah. minute you've secured that ball which looked very easy to do as it was reasonably deep in the backfield you're straight into a seven man Wenger bus yeah, yeah oh, he's, he's five or six plus yeah, yeah, but with negative the two dice against the trying to get you down with a wrestler or a stab piece it's yeah. awful odds from then on yeah I mean it's better odds than being an assassin down and for the yeah, right, so you definitely don't do it that way, Dimmy, I agree. But I still think you go in, but you go harder. Yeah. Anyway, um, thank you very much, Gorgo Bear. GG, well played. That was... Uh... <laughs> uh, the risk of Elp having my life and Dimmy having my life, no doubt. That was very stressful. It's, it's, it's so much pressure. It's unbelievable. Um, it's, <laughs> it really is. It's hard, man. It's really hard. Yeah, well played, Gorgo Bay. Um, I really liked the first half. Uh, I liked when you feigned pulling back when Jimmy reinforced the wing and then when the wing attack really went badly for you, you still yeah. committed to it because you felt you only had to. I thought that showed some, some nerve and was good. Then you swide swapped pretty effectively despite it being trap space, um, but it did end up costing you. Um, so, yeah. Um, I, there was a, a point, if Jimmy does the replay, where instead of pulling back and going around the back to side swap, there was a lone blitzer that if you'd put a witch in and, and risked a couple of one dies to push it, that a whole field opened up and you could have got like eight team members through. Um, so I do think there were some places where you could have looked a little more aggressively for space uh, when you were really up against it in that drive. But in the main, I thought some really solid positioning. Jimmy just got lucky on the turns he needed to. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I was lucky that the rerolls got sucked off, wasn't I? That was the thing, like the the dub skulls and that. That was really lucky. And like, the one in nine with a witch. Yeah, the one in nine, nine with a witch. Yeah. Yeah. That was yeah, that was the space fight. before. So yeah. yes, that was the turn before Dog the Dog. I felt he could have gone through the lone blitzer and got all the team through, and that meant he was all squished up. And then, as you said, that turn where the the cage eventually got sprung, he actually could have been one step further forwards with virtually no more risk. Yeah, um, yeah. So that was a bit of a shame. But yeah, it, it, these things happen. We all make mistakes in positioning under that much pressure and with that time on. Yeah. Oh, like so in the, the main, uh, I thought there was two really nicely coached games from both of you. More all poetry. right, guys, I'm going to leave. I have things to do. Well, Me too. I'm sure you're doing an official one next. Uh, I will I'll be, leave yeah. you back to it. Yeah, thank and you very much. Later, and I hope, yeah. I hope everybody in Darlington goes tomorrow. <laughs> to high row 19 to celebrate there, you know, Jimmy's victory. Jimmy's probably not going there because the TV licensing bands are still circling his house. <laughs> you know, but, but he will be in spirit. 
Yeah. Thank you very much, everybody. It was great of you doing the commentary. And, uh... and thanks, uh, Jimmy and Gorgor, for saving us for a third game of this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, GG, Gorgor, cheers and thanks. And, uh, yeah, see you later. Cheers, see you. And, uh, bye now. Bye, bye Demi, cheers. And uh, yeah, I made a Kaz as well. Yeah, I made a Kaz, and, uh, and I'm through round two. So now all I've got to do is beat Dave. Or <laughs> um, I mean, if he beats Truk, right? He might not beat Truk. He might not beat Truk. Things can happen. Um, bash mirrors. Um, but you know, Dimmy was just in the booth, and Dimmy thinks it's horrendous for Undead. I think it's a real bad matchup for Undead. I don't like Truk's build. He's gone for three ghouls. And uh, Devo's fantastic, so I, I think Devo will be true. No offence to Truk. I'd say Devo's quite heavily favoured there. But that doesn't mean he's going to win, right? Even if he's like 70, 30 or 80, 20, whatever, he can still lose. Like, no, things can happen. Um, but yeah, that's going to be that's going to be a hell of a game. If I thought these two were stressful, this is going to be even more stressful. So there you go. But um, thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.